Hello everybody, welcome back to Saving a Puck. I am your host, Tino Mans, and today we got, uh, you know, some... Okay, I'm, I have to remember to use different jerseys today, I have to. I really do, because I feel like I've been saying that for a couple episodes now, and I just haven't done it. People are probably going to freak out when those videos come out, like, use different jerseys! You've been saying you're going to do it. Yeah, fair enough. So, I, I'm going to try my best, but you know the beautiful thing? Is that we're at a 900 save percentage. You can't complain with that. Um, but yeah, so our record currently is 2013 and 4, which isn't phenomenal, but you know, we're eighth in the league right now. Can't complain. The overall team record is 28, 20, and 7. And let's have a look at our lines. Yeah, um, just to also add to our team's record, our division is pretty weak this year. So. Um, we, we're definitely looking good in that regard, but anyway, here's the lines. I'm just going to give you guys a refresher. That's how I normally do it. Show the lines at the beginning of the video and then show you the stats at the end of said video. There you go. TJ and net 78 overall. Pavel the backup. Let us check if there's anyone scratched. I know is injured still. Clefbaum is just a healthy scratch and so is Philip Broberg. All righty. I think that's about it. So we got the Ottawa Senators here. 27, 23, and Cease. Let's see how this one goes. First period. That's okay. All right. Zub. Ardem Zub. And nice. Okay. This is definitely a game worth jumping in. Bouchard, you legend. Formington will bury a second one on Tino. But look at the shots. They have 27. We only have 13. So I'm definitely not upset with this one whatsoever. Let's jump in. And I am going to use different jerseys. Okay, here we go. Let's use alternate, maybe. Those ones are kind of nice. There's another alternate. Oh, I don't know if I've used those yet, have I? NHL Reverse Retro? Uh, I have to use those if we have an away game. Okay, I'm going to use these ones, and then I want these guys. I think theirs is the... No, it's not. Hmm. Can I use, like... Uh, for them, I'm just going to probably use a standard away, because I like that logo better, and I'm so happy they went back to it. I didn't even know this screen existed. I am literally just finding out about this now. And then I guess you can obviously flip teams. Cool. All right. Learn something new every day. Uh, yeah, let's let's jump in, shall we? There's like something in my right ocular cavity that is just absolutely driving me insane right now. So if I start crying, you're going to know why. And yeah, we have a 2-2 hockey game here. Jumping into the third, as we saw from the simulation. The shots are heavily in favor of your Edmonton Oilers, we were doubling them, I believe, because wasn't it 27 to 13? Yeah, so pretty much doubling. There we go. And now we have a goal to give us the lead. That is probably 14 or 15 shots now. And we have three goals. So their goalie, not doing so hot. McDavid, going to pass it down low to Nuge, who's in front of the net. A little cheeky backhander up and over Murray. Gives your Oilers. Yours. Not mine, yours. The lead. Shabbat takes a point shot. That will be directed aside. Get the traffic cones out. Because that puck... It... What just happened? Oh. Power play for the Ottawa Senators. That's not good. Tyson Barry taking a penalty for who knows what. Oh, it's intrafence. Okay. Interesting. I will say. I didn't really see what happened. But now we've got two minutes of being on the PK. And let's see how this goes. Great draw win. Love to see it. That's a good way to start. Sonny Milano. Ooh, he is going to have that knocked off of him by a defenseman who is now skating all the way up the ice on a PK. We just had two players commit to the offensive zone on a penalty kill. That's either confidence or dumbness. And I can't tell which. Norris. He's behind the net. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Jabroni. Get out of here. It doesn't matter what your name is. Battle behind the net. I want to look at how much time's left in the penalty, but I cannot take my eyes off the play right now. Another stop. 30 seconds. Okay, so we're almost there. We are almost there indeed. That should almost kill it off, actually. So that's a, a pretty solid PK from the boys. Couple saves needed, but for the most part, I think we are... No way, you're joking. Give me a break. Yeah, right, Stripes. 
Get out of here. The zebra's clearly out to get us this game because we are, you know, getting penalty after penalty right now. I mean, we've only gotten two, but to be fair, the game did pretty much just start. There we go. Save on Chucky. I probably came out far too... Yeah, there's no way I'm saving that. I mean, I probably could have anticipated that, but I feel like if I did anticipate that, then Jimmy Superstar would have just sniped me short side. So ultimately, that was just going to happen. And I think that we are... Yeah, okay. So the first penalty was killed, thankfully. Meaning we are now even strength. But we now have a tie game on our hands once more. Hopefully the boys can stay out of the freaking bot. Okay, we have a power play. I was going to say... I was going to say... I am about to lose it. Oh yeah, free team play. Okay, change the camera. Stick to the basics. Pass that to that guy. There you go. The simple plays. You know, it's about, it's about the simple plays. That make the magic happen here. Oh, oh yeah? Nice! Rebound! Fire me up! What, did I get an apple? Nah, Barry got one. Okay, yeah, because I passed it to him. I was going to say, that would have been unbelievable if I got an assist there. It's alright though. We're in the lead again. Power play goal. Furda. And we have a 4-3 hockey game on our hands. A rebound. Yeah, that came right out. Buried by Nuge. Oh my word. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Holy crap. That is the most extreme game of limbo I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's get a let's get a close up here on Dry Sidle. And how do I work the camera again? There we go. All right, let's see. So, let me move it up here. So, first of all, this man attacks Matt Murray for absolutely no reason. Like Matt Murray did nothing and he's like, "Come here, you." Just takes him out and then <laughs> That is the best thing I've ever seen. Wow. Incredible. Nice job, Leon. That is the best goal celebration of all time. It has to be, right? Like, there's no way anything can compete with that. Takes out the goalie and then hangs off the crossbar. If we could get one more just for, you know, like, good measure, that'd be sick. I wouldn't be upset at all if we could do that. Drake Batherson. He's in. Gets it to Jimmy, who takes a shot. I Whoa, get up, please. Oh, my word. I don't know what just happened there, but he was stuck on the ground. And I don't even think I pressed down on the right stick. That's another good goal. McDavid just left his man wide open for some reason. And now we have a tie game once again. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Here's Jimmy again. Goes for another shot. But the defense will get in the way of that one. Oh no. Batherson. Dukachuk. You're open over there. Let's go. Darnie. Make a sick breakout pass. That works too. McDusty goes cross ice to Yesi. 11.50 to go. Ooh, that was a good chance. And we've had quite the third period so far. There was two goals aside coming into the third period. And now both teams have scored two goals in the third period alone. That should not have even been close to in. But it was unfortunately hit the post. And then I had to make another stop there. Does it... If it goes off the post, does it count as a shot or no? Because technically, it was on net, you know? Like, it, it hit the net, so it was on net. Can't argue that it wasn't. But, I don't know. That's interesting, actually. Because you got to think, if a goalie makes a stop and it wasn't even going on net, like, it could be going over the net. And if I glove it down, then it counts as a shot. But if I don't touch it, it doesn't count as a shot, I don't think. Strange. Anyway, back to the gameplay here. Senators coming in again. Team kind of swarmed whoever that was, which is nice. Oh, I thought Drysaddle was about to get rocked, but he kind of took that like a champ. He firmed it behind the net. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the pressure on them. Don't let them set up their little cross creases here. This is Hockey Ultimate Team in a nutshell. The Ottawa Senators are your Hockey Ultimate Squadron. Leon gets it on the boards, passes it up. To Yamamoto, who's just going to have it ripped away from him by Norris. Oh, and Norris is going to pay the ultimate price. He gets rocked. Okay, I read that that time. I was ready for him to pass it in front of the net. Around the net it goes. Great hockey play, by the way. What a hockey maneuver. Norris with it. He's Oh, I thought he was going to get rocked again. going to say, this poor man just getting torn apart out there. Bouchard. I, I don't know what that was. I'm not too sure what that pass was. It's basically a donation to whoever's stick that was on the Senators. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't pay attention to other teams. I don't even know our team, really. But, you know, I 
know them enough, I would say. To be honest, even though they've gotten two goals, they might have 13 shots to make it the big 4-0, meaning I would still have a 900 save percentage. They've got to be close, because I feel like I've made quite a few stops in this third period so far. So I'm not ruling it out. And if this game goes to overtime, that just opens up for even more shots. Plus, we still have five minutes to go, which also means I still have five minutes to get scored on, plus a potential overtime to get scored on. But you know how it is. Across again! Get out of my face! Get out of my face. I read it. I am used to you guys by now. Yeah, and I'm used to our team not defending whoever's in front of the net. That was a sick save. All right. Face off to the left of Jimothy. And McDusty will win it. Bouchard cuts back across. Oh, yeah. Nice pass. Not a nice pass. But it's okay. Senators with it now. Three minutes to go. We should not take a penalty here. That would be splendid if we could have... Okay. Give it up to them right in the slot. That sounds like the best possible thing you could do at this point in a hockey game. I mean, just in a hockey game in general, really. It's got to be up there, right? Best plays. Final minute of play is here. Will we be seeing... Oh, he went for a clappy. Will we be seeing an overtime? Maybe. We just might. I would really prefer if the boys buried one and we did not go to overtime but that might be a lot to ask for i feel like our team's playing real physical now too it's like they got pissed off or something which fair i mean i <laughs> i'm not the happiest camper back here either i let up two goals in this third period you think i'm gonna be happy about that and there were two goals that were easily preventable if our defense just had their guy in front of the net okay we have a power play that is very decent here we go two power play goals in the third period for the dub. You guys can do this. I absolutely believe in you. McDusty win that draw. 30 seconds to go. And even if it does go to OT, then we're going to have a 4 on 3. Which will be nice as well. Alright. Really? Pass it. Or don't touch it. That's awesome. Thank you for wasting my opportunity of a team play. Nuge with it. He's in over the line. Nice. No. See, that's how you block a cross crease. And that is how you do not block a cross crease. See what happens? A goal happens. All right. They block the pass in front to McDavid. Doesn't go in. They leave Nuge all alone. It's a goal. Just the way she goes. Say la vie. All right. We managed to sneak out a W there. I'm Even though I let up two goals, I'm happy with my third period performance. I think I did all right. And they ended up having 42 shots. So, yeah, there you go. The 900 is intact. Nice. All right. Yeah, they... Oh, man, I could have been faster to that one, too. But it's so hard to react at the time. Because you don't know if it's really going to happen or if they're going to hold on to it. And then you don't want to overly commit. I guess I could have kind of cheated. But then they could have sniped me short side. He was on his backhand. There's just so much... You know, like, it's learning. You know? Got to learn. Become a better goaltender. A better net minder. A minder of the net. Let's see if James has anything to say, specifically. All right, let's go around no. the horn and see what happens. It is generic. The the let's do it, James. Why not? Why not? Edmonton oh, yeah, it's all green. Out of the fire in a tightly contested affair. The Blue Jackets were in a dogfight Ooh. on the road against the Hurricanes. Carolina totally dominant in this one, scoring at will, it seemed, in the win. Mm. The Stars were looking to steal two points against the Blackhawks. Dallas pulls one out in a nail biter. We got a jam pack show. Right. We got a lot more Easy stuff choice. we got to get to, so don't even think about going. Don't in. even Stay with think. Me. Let's go with this one. Yeah. So Dallas Stars up next. They are struggling mightily. They are last in the league right now. Uh, but maybe this is a game we're jumping into. We'll see. Maybe they come out and surprise us. They sure do. One nothing. One one. All right. We're just gonna jump into this one and then sim the next four. And I am going to use our NHL Reverse Retros. Let's see what they have. Alternate. Oh, I love those jerseys. I actually was just watching a Leaf game last night where they were using those. And um, so now I'm going to use them in the game. I totally forgot to look at shots, so I don't even know how many they have coming into this. I'm assuming they have more than 10. I mean, come on. Two periods of hockey, they got to, right? And only one goal apiece at the moment. So that is pretty solid. Both netminders, I'm assuming, playing pretty good. And now I just got to save some pucks here in the third period. And hopefully the boys can get us a goal. Nuge has it in the middle. He's over the blue line. Nice pass in the middle. Oh, McDavid just got rocked. That's unfortunate. 
He didn't even get the shot off, really. It sort of just trickled off of his stick and still went to the cage. And the goalie took the easy save. I would have done the same thing, trust me, to get the stat. No doubt. No, off the post. The puck meets Irene. That's okay. We're getting a lot of great opportunities here. I love the way this team's playing right now. Comrie going to make a stop off the one T there as well. Top 10 hits. Oh, I didn't even see who our player was. That's unfortunate. And I went to go look over at the Game Capture HD because it is, you know, slightly behind. But by the time my eyes maneuvered, or were about to maneuver, I could see from my peripheral that it was already gone. Unfortunate. But um, whoever you are, good job. Glenn Denning in. That's going to be saved. Oh, wow. That was interesting. I saved it off the pad. Mini pop fly and just, you know, catch it. Does that count as two saves? No, it does not. But... Yeah, we are currently ninth in the league, and Dallas Stars are last. So that is unfortunate. And this is the game we should win. All right, for sure. Glenn Denning. Oh, he went for it as well, but Drysaddle, see, that is how you play defense. Thank you, Leon. What an absolute stud muffin. Behind the net. And that's going to be passed in front of the net by our own team. Oh, great play. I'm watching you. I'm watching you with this cross crease action. Good defense again, Leon. Atta boy. He gave them no choice to pass in front of the net. Is he going to score now? He's having himself one incredible game so far. Or at least one incredible third period from what I've seen of him. That saved the rebound. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but I like flinched so hard there when the rebound came out. That was terrifying. But luckily... Was able to make the stop on the rebound as well. If he even got a shot off, I'm not sure. Maybe he just crashed the net and it sort of was already at my pad. But anyway, yeah, not bad. Third period has been fairly action-packed so far. I know we have some third periods that are no shots and kind of just battling in the neutral zone. But this one has been back and forth to say the least. Well, Yarvi goes for a shot through four people. That will make it through. McDavid walking out. Comrie going to make a save. With the blocker behind the net. Nuge picks it up. He goes to walk in front of the net and he succeeds. Poljarvi will pick it up and bury it. The Edmonton Oilers get a 2-1 lead. Beautiful stuff. No, 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 no. Just gave him a breakaway. Well, that was fast. That was real fast. Right off the draw. I should have flying poke checked. I really should have. How close was I to saving this, by the way? They're good at deeks. Like, they are real good at deeks. Let me go to the instant replay. Was I at least kind of close? That's why I always fly in poke check. Because, dude, their deeks just throw me through a loop. No, I wasn't even really close. He came in forehand and just, yeah, up over the mini wheat. That's a good goal. That is a good goal. Well, that lead was short-lived, but, you know, we have... Oh, my days. We almost got it right back. That's unfortunate. Do it again! If he got that shot off a little bit quicker, just a little bit. You know, I'm not talking about a lot quicker. Just maybe a little bit marginal like just seconds okay not even seconds if this goes in i would have cried a river but that guy just had his head taken off that's got to be one of the most disgusting targeted hits i've ever seen george peros i hope we're hearing from here hearing from you <laughs> in the near future i just mixed you and near into one word but look at this he goes for the deke and then scott stevens style whoever this is Sagan just comes in and absolutely obliterates him. How is he not hurt? That is a miracle on ice. No, 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 no. McCann gives it to Sagan in front of the net. Okay. All right. No, no, no. That was a bullet as well. Wow, they are cranking up the pressure here. Sagan runs into someone skating backwards, which was good for us. He gets another chance. Yeah, smother that. That pressure was too little too much. Jamie Ben, that was terrifying, to say the least. This guy's trying to tuck that. Who do you think I am? Absolutely not. That was actually probably a good play. I probably would have gone in. But, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. If I overplay the cross crease... Oh, come on. I'm doing it. Flying poke check! Oh, what a back check by Darnell Nurse. You legend taking that away. Now, Ben has it in the corner, but Nurse will go after him as well. And now the Oilers have it... In the nooch. Puck goes deep. And Miro, Hammerhead's legend, 
there to get it. All right, pretty solid breakout by the Dallas Stars. They have a guy in the middle. Oh, Glenn Denning just got dropped. But then our player trips over the guy that he hit. Are you absolutely kidding me right now? All right, five minutes to go. Tie hockey game. This one is anybody's at this point. David going in to help, but it's not going to matter because it's already been kicked across to Miro. Passes it up to Clint Denning. Nice defensive play by Bouchard. Yams goes for a couple deeks, and it actually works out. What a mad lad. In front, what a save. Walk out again, Nuge. Oh, he almost pulled it off twice in one game. That would have been incredible. But that time didn't quite work out. Yesi over the blue line. He's in. Okay. Okay. All right. Time is running out here. Final minute of play in the third period. And we have a 2-2 situation at the moment. What's the sitch, Wade? All right. Come on. Let's do it here. Let's try to get another last minute goal like we did in our previous game. Not let them get the last minute goal. Alright, don't hug the post. Do not hug the post. That's a stop! Mm-hmm. Yep. There you go. A rebound. Once again. Well, they did in fact get the last minute goal. That is a true statement. They almost got another one there. Second got it right in front of the net. Holy crap, dude! Like, we're just letting them walk all over us right now. I'm probably going to get pulled here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Cheated up for that one. Can we send this thing to overtime? That is the golden question. Oh, we're going to get the bench view now for, for some reason. You know, it works until there's a whistle. And then it's like, nah, you can just see from the bench from now on. There you go. And I can't change it either. Well, 14 seconds remain. We need a draw win here. Oh, we actually kind of got it. McDavid! No way! That shot is blocked. He gets another chance. Calm, are going to save that? Six seconds. We are all over them, but just, no, nope, not going to happen. Man, that is very unfortunate. I feel like I almost had that rebound save as well. I kind of want to go look at the replay. How many shots did they end up having? No? Oh, wait, resume. I have to, like, actually end the game, I guess. There you go. Thanks. Okay, well, oh, they only had 23. Oh, that's because I had to do that. That was just my bad. Anyway, instant replay. How close was I to saving the rebound out of genuine curiosity? Because it looked like I was sort of close, but obviously not close enough. Keep going back here. Holy crap, was this like 10 years ago? Apparently it was. Did I save this Sagan shot? He got the rebound, right? And then, oh yeah, <laughs> they almost scored there again. Okay, so I got to keep going back. All right, this should be it. The draw. Here we go. So the save goes off the mini wheat. Um, whoever that is defensively, I don't want to blame you, but, you know, I'm kind of blaming you. Yamamoto lets Robertson slide. He picks it up. And, oh, my word, I was close. I was actually very close. Look at this. And you have got to be kidding me. Wow, that sucks. Let's take a look around the league. Ah, sure, the James. Let's take a look. Here tonight. The Oilers had their hands full with the Stars. Mm -hmm. Dallas posts an impressive win in a tightly contested affair. An 899. We're hoping to take tisk, a bite tisk. out of the Penguins. Pittsburgh torches the opposition with a big night offensively. Big night. All right. Well, um, we're in here against Carolina. So this is one of our no simulation games. James, time. no. Enough. You've had your spotlight for the video. It's done. Okay, they have two goals. We have one. They have four goals. We have one. Incredible. Three stars. There you go. Freddie Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Okay, well, probably going to be in against Toronto as well. We are falling once again. 13th in the league at the moment. Simulate this one. Here we go. First period. That's good. Nice. And huh, why not? Why not? And a shootout. Okay, well, we got a point out of it. So that's good. Three stars of the game. How are you doing? And continue. So that is two simulation games under our belt. And let's see him up here. We got Florida fifth in the league. We are now at 11th. 
First period is a 1-0 lead for us. 1-1. One, one. And <laughs> why do we suck in third periods? Can someone tell me that? Our third period meltdowns are iconic at this point. There's another L. Sim to next game. We got Dallas again, who are now 30th in the league. I'm not in. We got Pavel in net. And he's going to get us a dub. Good stuff. 22nd place New York Islanders will be our next opponent. We are 10th. ATM. What do you want, Mr. McKay? Can I help you with something? Hey, look, it's Section M back there. What are the odds? All right. There's an event coming up uh, for cancer awareness. Uh, sure, yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. And that would have got me... Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we get brand and teammate like ability up. Can't be upset about that one right there. Can ya? No. Well, I mean, you probably could. You can find a way. Why isn't it more? But uh, let's simulate this game here against the Islanders. And see how she goes. Another third period meltdown. Inbound. 3-2. And... Oh, it was close. It was close. But we managed to hold on that time. Three stars. I believe that was four games. Now, my stomach is fuming at the moment. Let's uh, continue... And sim to the next game. Detroit, fifth in the league right now. 34 dubs. Good for them. Okay, we are 10th. Let's have a look. I think our division is probably still going to be pretty pathetic, so we should be all right, but who knows? Maybe they just went on a massive winning streak. So McDavid just over point a game. Drysidle's pretty close. Nuge is uh, tied with Drysidle, so that is wild. Good for him. Play RV 42. Yams everywhere, 42. Just go to the bottom here. And we have Broberg, one point. Proud of you, kid. And net. 899 and 304, and then Pavel is uh, 904 to 84, but uh, his record is 10, 10, and 2 with a shutout, and I'm 22, 16, and 6 with two shutouts. Not a big deal. Is our division still weak? Yes, it is. We are first in our division right now. Okay. The Knights are right on our tail. Um, Vancouver, eh, not really, you know, like we're decently ahead of them. But yeah, that's that's good stuff. Okay, so our playoff spot is looking pretty solid. And then in the entire league, we are 10th. There we are. Okay, so things looking good. Things are looking good. And it looks like I will be the starting goaltender for playoffs this year as well, as I am the starting goalie for the season. And then I'm going to get the whole speech. And they're going with the kid. Or something like that, whatever James says. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed, if you did. Um, absolutely destroy that like button. Leave a newt newt in the comments down below. What? No! And, um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you soon.